hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to complete the firebase push notification system so that uh, the receiver of the chat request or you can say the friend request will uh, receive a notification on his mobile phone from the sender so for that uh, we are going to download and install node.js ok so simply click on that uh, first right go to google write node.js and it will redirect you to here click on this node.js and it will redirect you to here ok and here you can simply click on this downloads and this current latest feature so whatever the latest feature at the time when you watch this video download that so if you are using mac you can install from here uh, download from here and i'm using windows so i will simply click here and uh, in the down downloads folder i'm going to download this so you have to wait for it ok it will take one or two minutes to download so you can see that it is uh, download successfully and now I'm going to run this okay so the setup starts and here we go Let's click next accept the terms next next and click next and install this it will ask for the permission so click yes okay and we have to wait for it so you can see that it is installed successfully click finish so now open the command prompt okay here you can uh, from the windows or you can also uh, simply search for command from the search okay you can simply write command and it will show you this command prompt so click on that open the command prompt let's first check the uh, node version so you can say node version and before we do that first write dash dash or minus minus you can say and then version so this is the version and now we are going to check the npm version so dash dash version and yeah it, everything is okay it is installed successfully now we need to uh, install the firebase tool so for that you can simply type npm install minus g firebase minus tools and then press enter and it will took some time so you have to wait for it maybe two or three minutes so you can see that uh, the packages are added successfully I mean it is the firebase tool is in installed uh, successfully now what we are going to do is the next thing is to log in to the firebase so here you can simply type firebase login firebase login and then press enter and here you can uh, it shows us allow firebase to collect anomious cli okay so we do not want that so uh, write n and then press enter and here uh, it will uh, redirect you uh, to your uh, gmail account okay so as you know that uh, uh, my project is inside i mean uh, the firebase projects are created by this i mean i am creating that by using my this email address so i will simply click on that okay because i have to access these projects now uh, from there and here you can simply click allow and you can see whoa ho firebase cli login successfully so yeah that's it you can see that success logged in as and this is my email address which is uh alizab at seven five at gmail.com so once we log in we are going to create a folder here okay create a folder and let's give it a name as uh, you can give it any name you want let's say i'm going to give it a name as a uh, simple notification okay because here we will uh, we will have some files now okay so just notification and now we can access that from here so you can simply type cd slash users slash then you write your pc name and if you do not know what is your pc name then you can simply go to the c and here we have this users folder okay and this is my pc name in my case it is coding cafe and whatever your pc name is you can simply type your pc name here so i will simply type coding cafe slash on the desktop i have a folder by the name notification okay which is this folder notification and then press uh, enter here you can see we access that I mean we are now inside that notification folder and now we have to initialize the firebase okay so for that you can simply type fire firebase i n i t so firebase i n i t and then press enter 
and here you can see are you ready to proceed right y and then press enter and here we go here you can see we have this functions okay which is functions configure and de deploy cloud functions so press uh, space button on your keyboard and then press enter and you have to wait okay so here you can see uh, these are all our projects so our project name is whatsapp okay so you, i can simply press enter and which language, uh, language you, you uh, would you like to use uh, to write cloud functions okay so we will use javascript okay select javascript and then press enter do you want to use uh, es uh, lint whatever it is okay we do not want so write uh, n and press enter do you want to install dependencies with npm now yes write y and then press enter and we have to wait for it okay it will took some time so you can see that firebase initialization complete okay and this is the screen which we get okay so yeah now minimize this command prompt okay do not close this minimize this and now if i come to the notification folder here you can see it download some files for us if you click on this functions here we have this uh, node modules and index and all these package okay so we have this index file so whatever you i mean uh, open any text editor uh, you have in your computer i have some sublime text editor and many guys also use uh, not no, not fat plus plus or context whatever uh, editor you want okay you can simply drag and drop that file here okay so this is our index.js file where we will uh, write our functions and we will then upload this function to the uh, firebase here okay to this firebase functions so now what i'm going to do is first of all let's remove this comments and here we can simply say put single braces use use space strict straight then we have const functions require let me increase this size after that we can say const admin equals to require single brace firebase minus admin which is the permission okay and after that we can say admin dot initialize app function dot config dot firebase put a semicolon here now here we can say exports dot send notification equals functions dot database here we are now going to create a reference to our uh, notifications node in the firebase database so what i'm going to do here you can simply type this single quotations and then slash and the name of that node is notifications slash put two curly braces and here we can say receiver rec iv receiver underscore user underscore id slash put two curly braces notification underscore id dot let me expand this okay so that we can see the code easily okay so dot on right put two braces again and here we can say pass the data comma context and don't worry i will uh, also uh, provide the link to this index.js uh, code okay which is a javascript code for sending the function firebase functions for the push notifications so link will be available in the description down below so after that what i'm going to do is uh, here you can simply after this put two curly braces move it to the next line and make sure to put a uh, semicolon here and now inside here we can simply say const receiver user id equals to context dot params p a r a m s dot receiver user id so we are storing uh, we are getting the receiver user id and we are storing inside this variable receiver underscore user id and now here we can say const notification id and make sure to change this minus two underscore okay by mistake i wrote this here okay 
and also change this to notification underscore id equals to con context dot params dot notification id console dot log put to single quotation and here we have to say a notification to send to the receiver okay so put comma and pass the receiver user id here this is just a log message okay now after that uh, we can say if not which is the exclamation mark data data dot after dot well and then we are going to display a message if the data is not available it means that the notification has been deleted so here let's change this message to a notification has been deleted a notification has been deleted and here we have to pass the notification id and it should return null and here uh, when we say data comma context here make sure to write equal and this arrow sign okay which is this one equal and this arrow and uh, after this if statement uh, we can uh, get the device token from the database and let's give it a name as device token equals so we have to get the uh, i mean create a reference admin dot database dot ref and here uh, we do not need to add these two quotation instead of that we need to add these uh, these signs okay i don't know the name of this but on your keyboard above the tab button you will get this okay so press twice okay and this sign will appear okay and inside that you can simply write slash users inside the users node okay slash dollar we have to pass the receiver id which is our this one okay so dollar receiver user id slash and we have to use the same name which is uh, this one if i show you device underscore token okay so make sure to write the same name here which is device underscore token and after you can say dot once single quotation value put a semicolon here then we can return the device token so we can say device token dot then put these two braces here we have to say result equals to and this arrow sign and two curly braces okay make sure to put a semicolon here and let's move this to the next line so inside this we can say const token underscore id equals to we have to get the value of that by using the result so we can say result dot well and we can send the notification to the user by using the payload so we can say const payload payload equals to and two curly braces and inside this const payload we can say notification colon and put two curly braces then we have to give title to our notification that the receiver will receive so the title will be uh, inside this double quotation we can say new chat request comma then the body will be and above the tab button on your keyboard we have this okay so double press that button and you will get these two sign which is not single quotation let me tell you again and here you can simply write you have a new chat request please check or whatever you want to type okay please check or anything you want to tell the receiver and after that we need to uh, display an icon okay so you will use the default icon of our app so you can say d-e-f-a-u-l-t and it should be inside double quotation so control export double quotation and paste that here and make sure to put a comma here you can see we have this const payload okay which ends here so also put semicolon here and after that we can return the admin dot messaging dot send to 
device and pass the token T O K E N which is basically our this okay token underscore ID and pass the payload to it which contains the notification title body and icon dot then response equals to this arrow sign put two curly braces make sure to put a semicolon here and let's move this to the next line and here we can now uh, display a message by using the console so you can say you can type any message this was a notification feature now press ctrl s to save this or also click on this file and save this okay so once you save this uh, now i'm going to go to the command prompt again and here you can simply type firebase d-e-p-l-o-y and now press enter and now it will upload our index.js file uh, here to the firebase functions okay so we have to add for it you can see this okay so deploy complete so now uh, click on this functions okay and here you can see our file has been uh, uploaded here so now I'm going to test the app so before we test the app first of all uh, come here to this build.gradle module app and from here you can simply uh, here you can see we have this firebase database okay copy this and we need to add the messaging dependency the firebase cloud messaging okay so remove this database and we can you can simply write m e w -S, s a g i n g okay messaging firebase minus messaging and uh, version will be this one okay which is for the database auth and storage so yeah that's it and then click on sync now and it will sync your whole project okay so make sure to add this dependency before you test the app and now we are adding uh, we are ready to run the app okay so let's run the app on both devices so you can see that our app is running now on both devices so from this device i'm going to log in uh, using sasha account okay and then i write the password and also let's write here from here i'm going to log in using mohammed ali share account so let's click on login click login so you can see that i am now logging on both devices so she has only one friend which is Muhammad Ali and uh, Muhammad Ali share has two friends which is Muhammad Ali and J.R. Roberts. So what I'm going to do is go to the find friends and now uh, Muhammad Ali share will send a friend a chat request to Sasha Glenn. So I will minimize the app from here. Okay. And now uh, here we have this. Okay. Sasha Glenn. Come here. And now let's send message. And keep your eyes here you can see this if I expand this here you can see this here we go new chat request you have a new chat request please check let's say I'm going to cancel this okay and now I'm going to send another chat request so keep your eyes here and here we go here you go yeah I mean this is incredible let's send another one so this is working perfect I mean this is amazing this is incredible so here you can see we are receiving the uh, push notifications on the other mobile phone successfully so now this user uh, whenever he click on this uh, request okay then it will send us to the app and from there uh, a user can see that his Muhammad Ali share has uh, sent a chat request to Sasha Glenn okay so we have successfully add the uh, push notification to our app so yeah that's it for this video and and before I end this video, one thing I want to show you guys is the Firebase functions. Okay, so if you click here on the logs, okay, go to the functions, click on logs, and here you can see that uh, this is the log uh, messages which we get. We have a notification to send to, okay, this is the ID and everything, okay, and uh, here you can see uh, finished with status, okay. So, yeah, everything is fine. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel, calling Cafe. Thumbs up for this video, and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.